like that. It's Josh Johnson versus Elvis Gashi. The lightweight division, 154 pounds. Both men only 24 years old, early in their careers, already with impressive records. Josh Johnsey, two inches taller, but it's Gashi who has a one-inch reach advantage. And it's Josh Johnsey who has the professional experience. Um, he also has an advantage in fighting higher-level opponents than Gashi does, but Gashi has an amateur record of 107 wins and only three losses, so that's a man who really knows how to win. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the lightweight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a four-time Kosovo national champion, an IKFUS national champion. His professional record, perfect. 18 fights, 18 wins, nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters, and he weighed in at 155 pounds, 70.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Bronx, New York, ladies and gentlemen, Super Elvis Gashi. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a North American standout making his 11th glory start. His professional record, 26 wins with eight losses, 15 of those wins by knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters. He weighed in at 153 and one half pounds, 69.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Vancouver, Canada, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Josh Johnson. And your referee in charge of this bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, do you understand the rules that you're fighting to? Yes, sir. Take yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Good luck to both of you. Break. No one has been able Judge. to beat Judge. Super Elvis Gashi tonight. Fight. Josh Johnson gets his chance. He's a heavy favorite, Joe. What does Josh Johnson need to do to win this fight? Well, I think he's going to keep the fight a little bit on the outside, use his movement. Um, he's got to utilize his right kicks because Gashi's a southpaw. So you're going to see Gashi really try to use that power left kick. He's got a good straight left. So Johnson's going to have to respect that power, fight on the outside, use his movement. Johnson wearing the white gloves, Elvis Gashi wearing the black. A huge, huge step up in competition for Gashi. Is he ready? We are about to find out. Certainly has the crowd behind him here in New York City. Well, that's extra motivation for him. Well, he just threw a nice left knee in that exchange. A nice one-two by Johnson, who complains of a low blow. Johnson ultra confident. Trained at Floyd Mayweather's gym in Time. Las Vegas for this fight a little bit. Trained with Dewey Cooper, one of the best North American kickboxing trainers for sure. One clip, then a hiver. Time in. Fight! Kick to the ribcage there by Johnson. And a nice left hand connects for Gashi. Gashi threw everything behind that shot. He needs to try to set it up. Gashi was supposed to fight on the undercard, but got a call a couple weeks ago and said, listen, not only do we want to put you on the main card, we want to put you against the fifth best fighter in the world in your division. Are you up for the task? And Elvis said, I am up for the task. And here he is fighting at Madison Square Garden. Throwing spinning heel kicks that almost landed. And Joe, I know you corner a lot of fighters up there in Toronto who fight out of Bazooka Joe's gym. What's your advice to them when you know they're filled with a lot of nerves before Mike. a fight? Well, we got to make sure we visualize the fight. We do a lot of mental training back home. Um, they got to learn to get in the zone. If you're going to be a high level fighter, you have to deal with those nerves. You got to have a strong mental game. You can be the most physical fighter, but if you're not strong mentally, it's easy for you to break and to crash under the pressure. Elvis unimpressed with what he's seen from Josh Johnson. He said, listen, I'm better than this guy. I don't care what he's ranked, and I'm going to prove it. 
He's starting off doing a good job, making it difficult for John C. to land any of his punches. Oh, and he ate that right hand coming in for a knee. John C. landed one. And Gashi now trying to be a bully in the corner. Gashi landed a good left hand in that exchange. And landed a left hand there. Good opening round here. Plenty of action, 10 seconds to go. Mike! 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 What's your rate? Elvis Gashi, first professional round here in glory. Well, I thought he did, he did really, really well. Um, it looked like John C was a little hesitant from the, to respect the power of Gashi, but Gashi did a good job. He landed some good kicks, some good left hands. Let's see if he can sustain this type of pressure and power throughout the other two rounds. Let's learn a little bit more about Super Elvis Gashi, his fighting style, quote, power and aggression, a massive amateur career. He's ready for this moment, at least the numbers say so. Well, the numbers show it, and to have a 107 professional uh, amateur wins and 18 professional wins. He knows how to win with only three losses, so I need to see if he can handle the big stage, and he showed it in the first round that he can. The lovely Alyssa, one of our glory girls here in New York City. Elvis Gashi, though, a lot of nervous energy there. The crowd was behind him under Don't the bright change. lights. A lot of output in that round for him. Will we see a fatigue factor come into play maybe late in round three? Could be. If everything he's throwing you with power, let's see what John C. adapts in this round. And that was more of a sweep what? determined by Paul Nichols, not a knockdown. Round two, scheduled for three. You're just watching Glory kickboxing for the first time. Stand up, all action. No elbows, but plenty of knees, punches, and kicks. No time to mess around. Nine minutes. Good kick by Gashi, but Johnson stayed in the pocket, looking to counter back with his punches. Well, at least Josh Johnson knows now that he's in for a fight. Oh, and a left hand splits the guard of Johnson right on the button. And then a little back fist. Gashi getting work done now. And he's doing a good job with that left straight. Gashi needs to be careful, though. Keep his chin down after he throws. Looks like Johnson's looking to counterpunch. And listen, Josh Johnson is not afraid to get knocked down. It's happened several times in his career, but he always gets up, and more times than not, puts his opponent down, too. Yeah, and once he warms up, that's when Johnson gets dangerous. He'll start putting combinations together, start mixing levels. Johnson's right now in a southpaw. Johnsy has blood coming out of his nose right now, maybe a little bit out of his mouth as well. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've seen Johnsy go southpaw. And he's gonna try to chop that lead, game, lead leg of Gashi from that southpaw stance. Nice low kick from Gashi. Gashi said his dream was to fight for glory. He's been offered other organs. And you know, Josh Johnsy might be hurt here a little bit. Yeah, his legs look like they're wobbling under him. Not too sure if he's got his... But they are! Johnsy's in trouble here, real trouble here. Elvis lands a shot, and now Johnsy has got Bambi legs. Elvis Gashi looking to send this crowd into a frenzy. Can he come in out of nowhere and beat the fifth-ranked fighter in the world? Johnsy is down. One, two, wow, three, four, five, Josh six, Johnsy, seven. In hey, serious gloves trouble. Up. Gloves up. Paul Fight. Nichols says, Do you want more? He does. Gashi comes running at him like a bull. A flying knee. Josh fighting back, but he's down again. One. This two, is the stuff dreams three, are made of. Elvis four, Gashi, three five, weeks ago, six, didn't have a fight of this seven, caliber. He was going to fight eight, on the undercard against a nobody. And here he is against one of the biggest somebodies in the world. Everyone in this theater is on their feet. Josh Johnson. It's got to be over, and it is! Elvis Super Gashi has shocked the kickboxing world! I did not expect this from Gashi.
his dream came true. I was telling the story that he'd been offered several fights in several other organizations. He turned them all down. He said, no, I just want to fight in glory. It's the best in the world, and I'm the best in the world. And one day they'll give me a chance to show my stuff. And this was his chance at Madison Square Garden in front of his hometown fans. And he just put on the performance of a lifetime. Yeah, and let's take a look at that. It looked like Johnson was hurt. I'm not too sure what rocked him, but then he came over with that left hook, and Johnson had no chance, and that left hand was just way too much power behind it. But Johnson kept staying in the pocket, showing his toughness, trying to throw back, but that pressure and that power of Gashi was just too much. Once Josh was wobbled, he couldn't find his leg, and just came out with everything he's got to put this finish on Johnson. Incredible performance. Really shocking stuff. Elvis Gashi on the scene. And Joe, the sky's the limit. He is 19 and 0, 10 knockouts. And all of a sudden, from unranked to he's got to be ranked in the top 10, at least maybe the top five. He just beat the number five ranked fighter in the world and one of the top prospects in the lightweight division. There it is, the moment of a lifetime. You witnessed it. We'll make it official when we return to New York City. We are back here at the theater at Madison Square Garden. This sold-out crowd witnessed something special, dare I say, the biggest upset in glory in 2017, Joe. Yeah, easily one of the biggest upsets with Gashi being a huge underdog. And just seeing how good John C is just shows how much potential that Gashi has and just showing that power that in that left hand was just a little too much for John C. John C made some adjustments uh, by going southpaw, but Gashi just continued with that relentless forward power. Just left hand after left hand ended up doing the most damage. Three knockdowns, one round. Gashi's dream comes true. Earlier, Kevin Van Oostrand with an epic performance. We thought that was going to be hard to top, but I think Elvis Gachi just did it, believe it or not. A sensational performance by Elvis Gachi. Here's our strike statistics. It was close for a while, but then Gachi just got those power punches connecting. And it all comes down to those strikes absorbed where John C. just took a lot of left hands. That was the biggest difference in that fight. So that power of Gachi was the big difference. We make it official now. We go with back into the ring and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an end just one second shy of the bell with an official time of two minutes, 59 seconds of the second round and ends by knockout for your winner and still undefeated, Elvis Gashi. Congratulations on a spectacular performance tonight. You're at Madison Square Garden and you secured a huge upset. He said he was gonna knock you out in a second. You knocked him out. Describe your emotions as you stand here tonight. Thank you, thank you everything who came here to support me. I love you, all my people, I love you guys. All my team, my sponsors. Thank you guys, I love you. Maybe I'm not the best fighter, but I always wants to fight the best fighters. Well, thank you so much for that epic performance. Thank you so much. I deserve it here to be. I've been waiting for glory for two years. So here you go. My dream is coming true little by little. Love you guys. Congratulations. What now for Elvis? What do we do with this guy? Well, the, the lightweight division on Glory is just so stacked and there's so much young talent and I would love to see him against the names of guys like the Johnny Bestati, Chris Baia, Anatoly Moisiev. Those are some big names within the top 10 that could be good matchups for Gashi. If he just beat the, the number five rank, let's get him and let's put him in against some of the other big names in the division. You know, he won't back down from a fight taking this one out of the blue. 